Vegas Fruity here, Cat here, and I just wanted to make a um, kind of like a, a scone cake. Um, tonight is the premiere uh, for Downton Abbey, and I'm a huge fan of Downton Abbey, and um, so I wanted to make some tea and a scone cake um, to celebrate it and have it as I watched it tonight. So let's get on it. All right, so I got to get these in the oven because I just found this out not too long ago. Uh, so I've got two cups of raw cashews. I'm going to put them instead of my food processor, which you can do. I'm putting them in my Vitamix because I want to grind these to a fine flour. Um, I've got a half a cup of potato starch, half a cup of corn starch. I've got two teaspoons of baking powder, aluminum free a half a teaspoon of sea salt, and I've got two teaspoons of coconut flour, which I'm using in um, instead of like one teaspoon of psyllium husk powder, which I don't have, and I think that it would kind of hurt my gut a little bit if I used it. Um, so I'm gonna use two teaspoons of coconut flour as um, an alternative. And I'm gonna put them in here and just grind it all. All right, my wet ingredients, I'm gonna use uh, one cup of almond milk, and this is vanilla flavored. You can use any kind of milk alternative that you would like. Um, I'm also gonna use one teaspoon of vanilla, um, the juice from half of a lemon, and then two tablespoons of maple syrup. Yeah, I see. All right, here's all the wet ingredients, and I'm gonna put the dry in here and just mix it well. Now after I mixed the wet and the dry ingredients, I actually did put it back into the, I put it into the food processor and I just whirled it around until it was a smooth, creamy batter. All right, so now I'm gonna actually add um, about a half a cup of um, currants and a half a cup of wild blueberries and they're dried. I'm gonna add them into this batter and I'm gonna pour it into this prepared pan and bake it at 350 for about um, 40 minutes. So tonight I'm using my, my husband gave me this for Christmas, he's so awesome. I have an official Downton Abbey's teapot set and um, cups and plates and I even got the Downton Abbey napkins. Yes, I am a fan and I am using, um, I'm going to be having rose hip and hibiscus tea, which is an herbal tea tonight. I'm not using a loose leaf tea. Um, and then when the scone cake comes out, I'll be using some tofuti cream cheese, which is a vegan cream cheese, and some jam on it. And uh, we're just gonna enjoy the show. And here it is. Yes, I have a big crack on the top. I don't mind it right now. You can leave it in to be a little toast, uh, a little more toasty, but it smells amazing. And I'm just going to put um, some jam on it and cream cheese on it. And I gotta go because the show is starting. This smells great. All right, and there you go. And the uh, cake is just, you can tell it's super soft and super creamy, just like a scone would be. And uh, I believe what kind of adds to that creamy texture are the, um, the cashews. And um, there it is. It's just beautiful, very nice, lightly sweet, and uh, goes well with tea.